Hey everyone, my name is Crystal Golden and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have some pine here that I am burning to use the smoke to help clear the energies of the space and to help open it up to those following the light heart path and for those who want to receive these messages, I am a Virgo rising and it is Virgo season, so I am here to give you a message and a reading. I have my tarot cards in front of me and we're going to get into it in just a minute. After we clear the energies, we're going to take some deep breaths, just center and ground ourselves. I feel like everyone's been feeling the turbulence lately. There's been a lot of hectic things going on in the world, a lot of things aren't adding up, a lot of things just don't make sense, but at the same time I feel like this collective feeling of chaos and being lost is the exact path we need in order for us to focus and to really dive deep into our collective history and figure out what is going on, who we are, where we came from, and why we're here. And I think that this chaos that we're all currently um, sifting through, we are getting to the bottom of it, or at least we're attempting to, and, or at least it's making us redirect ourselves and to find a better goal together as a collective instead of allowing all of these chaotic energies to run free, we're noticing it, we're taking action, or we're starting to take action. And Virgo season is this energy of the maiden. And it is a, uh, an earth sign. And it is the maiden energy, or like the virgin energy, I feel like a lot of people think of it as like the innocent woman or innocence, but I would like to, I, I feel like the maiden energy is much more powerful than that. Um, that energy doesn't necessarily mean it's innocent, it's, it means that it's fresh, it's new eyes, a new perspective, a, a brand new take on the energies, a fresh womb, someone who is ready to um, put her energy into something and create something new. And that doesn't mean it's innocent because I feel like the maiden also has her own trials and tribulations that she's gone through, her own um, hardships that she's had to make, her own sacrifices, and her own... Um... The maiden has a shadow too, like it isn't a pure, necessarily a pure energy. I feel like there is always going to be a little bit of darkness even in the virgin energy of that that controlling factor where you aren't really free if you have to abide by these um, standards that people consider pure. I feel like what is pure is what feels right and light within your heart. If it brings you a sense of clarity and a fresh breath of air, if you feel creative and you want to express yourself and be free however you feel that needs to be expressed for you, that is the maiden energy. Just the overall embodiment of freedom and creativity and just overall divine essence of being a creator and being a being able to feel your emotions on a deeper level so that they can be expressed in these divine avenues in a a ceremonial way like it's not whenever the maiden creates it's never no matter what she's creating it's never random there's always a purpose and it's always meant to bring in a new realm or portal like the the maiden is a portal it is embodying your natural creative essence and being the portal for the universe to create with 
Alrighty, so I have my tarot deck here and a malachite stone if you tap into crystal energies. Don't look at my nails right now, I need to do that. <laughs> but I have malachite here. It's a beautiful green stone. I feel like it is a good crystal to represent the Virgo energies of Earth and Malachite works with your physical body and your heart and connecting the, the divine heart energies with the physical body because your heart is that um, middle point where it allows your emotional energies that are of the divine to be felt in the physical body. Your heart is the actual um, conductor. The, the beat of your heart is the frequency of your essence. Okay, so I'm going to get into the tarot deck. I'm going to do a little shuffle here. Here's Source, Universe, Angels, Guardians, Guides, and Ancestors. Please help me pick out a card or cards for the Virgo season for the collective and what is in store for the season. Please and thank you. We also have a blue moon coming up, which is always exciting for the collective. Alrighty. I got pulled Three of Cups reversed with Page of Cups as the clarification card. So we have two water element cards here, which is your emotional flow, that emotional essence of your heart that is flowing out of you and being expressed and showing others how the water, like water is truly a healing energy. It allows you to clear anything that is holding you back and releasing anything that is not allowing you to feel happiness or pure joy, whatever that so the Three of Cups reversed, I feel like we are all, these, I feel like we're all kind of going through this purging where we are feeling this, we're, we're, we don't, we're not necessarily drowning, but we're feeling the pressure of that water and that energy of the ocean is like on top of us. And a lot of us are kind of feeling a little lost as if like they don't know how to swim or they just haven't been in this deep into the ocean before and it's dark and scary but the page of cups is a reminder that there is something to learn within every experience there is something for you to understand on a deeper level and if you just sit and allow yourself to immerse yourself in your emotions and feel what it is that is meant to be felt. It, it, it's, a, it's a silly but simple message where you can't ignore what you're meant to be feeling because it's going to be felt no matter what, whether you allow it to be felt now in the moment or allow it to be pent up and feel the pressure and then allow it to release later on when it's out of your control. It, this is the message of listening and tuning into your divine heart and truly listening to the messages that are meant for you and feeling what your heart's voice sounds like. Everyone has a unique heartbeat, everyone has a unique frequency and a unique essence about themselves that connects them, their physical body to their light body or their aura. And when you get in tune with your own energy, it's harder for others to knock you out of your frequency, to knock you out of balance and out of your center because you'll be able to feel 
when it's not your energy anymore, when you're in tune with you. You can feel yourself moving into different, um, more rapid waters or something like that where you're like, whoa, this isn't, I don't need to go this fast. This isn't something that I need to freak out about. I just need to step back and go into my center, go within and remind myself of my divine power of who I am within my heart and then look at it with fresh eyes and to feel out the situation in a more centered and balanced perspective. The Virgo energy is very much about control and um, divine order and organization, but sometimes there can be it allowing for the, that control to take its full effect you have to surrender. You can't always be in control of everything that happens around you, but you can be in control of how you express what you're feeling and how when you take the time to ground yourself and, and surrender to the divine earthly energy that what is in front of you is what it's meant to be. And the there's also, that's coming up is we're in Venus retrograde and we're entering Mercury in retrograde and everyone's been saying that Mercury retrograde in Virgo is a much more luckier time or just a better flow of energies during the Mercury retrograde than any other retrograde in any other sign because of how Mercury is a the planet's energy is of communications and um, connectivity and just the flow of energy and how it navigates through this third dimensional realm while the Virgo energy is organizing and planning and taking note of the details to make sure everything flows efficiently so working th with these energies together and going through this retrograde where everything slows down and it kind of almost forces us to review and take note of everything that we've been working towards and trying to ground into this physical realm over this past year and figure out is this actually the best way to go about it is this going to be the most efficient and most effective path and it's a gift for us to be able to go back and look at these things because it's kind of like getting a second chance when we're going through these cycles on purpose so that we can figure out the best way so that when we move forward we're not bringing any baggage along with us or at least it's less baggage for us to sift through and that way we can move on to the other side with a, a new perspective or just all of these lessons that we are taking with us instead of the burdens. We're not holding on to these lower frequencies or the we're taking the hardships and looking at it how at how we've progressed and how we can use this as a stepping stone to rise above and instead of allowing us to <clears throat> uh, to drown in those emotions and and to feel overwhelmed which is a natural feeling you're allowed to feel overwhelmed and you're allowed to feel anxiety it's when you perpetuate it and you convince yourself that there's no end to it you got to remember that there is a message in there somewhere and you just have to slow down allow yourself to reflect and just take your time to review the material in front of you and there is going to be a lesson there there is going to be a step there for you to take so that you can move forward and rise and move into the next level of consciousness of creativity of your work of whatever it is that you're ready that your body and your energy is ready to take on you must release yourself of any doubt first so that way it's ready you are ready it's ready and everything is going to fall into place and yeah I'm I think I'm done rambling for this <laughs> um if anyone wants a tarot reading I have my links down below 
on my website and my Instagram and Facebook. You can message me on anything that you feel called to and I will try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. I will definitely get back to you eventually, hopefully within 24 hours, but yeah. Things have been a little chaotic here just as everywhere else, but I really want to help you or those who feel called to receive a message from me to get that message. I am so grateful to have this job of being a channel for the universe, for a source and for everyone in the collective. I um, My next video I am planning on making is going to be a more personal video and kind of dive into who I am, more about why I do this and why how I got here to do tarot reading and energy reading and an art and being an artist I have I'll have my art links down below too um what else was I gonna see if you have any questions about my experiences or who I am and why I do this feel free to ask below and I will try to answer them in the next video I love you all greatly and I hope that you have an amazing Virgo season Stay grounded, drink your waters, and stay blessed. I love you all so much. Have a great day.